Hi all, um, so in today's lesson we are going to look at adjectives and how to describe people, places and things in French and this is probably one of the most important um, pieces of information that you need to know regardless whether you're in year 7, year 8, year 9, year 10 and year 11 because it's depending on whether you're talking about a masculine noun or a feminine noun or a plural noun you will have to change the adjective to link with it. And we saw that when we were discussing um, clothes, school uniform, and pets. So I will put this on the big screen and let it play for you. How to describe people, places, and things in French. You're going to want to describe nouns in French. J'ai un chien, I have a dog, is nice. But j'ai un chien mignon, I have a cute dog is better. The first thing to notice is that adjectives in French usually go after the noun. J'ai une porte verte. I have a green door. The next thing to notice is that adjectives must agree with the noun. Une porte is a feminine noun, which means that the adjective vert has a feminine ending, e. If you have more than one of something, like deux lapins blancs, two white rabbits, Lapin is plural, which means that the adjective has to be plural too. Blanc has an S at the end. If you have more than one girl, les filles, then any adjective has to be feminine and plural. So, content adds an E and an S. Les filles contentes, the happy girls. Usually, adjectives in French come after the noun, but there are a few that don't. Beau, beautiful, comes before the noun. Bon, good, un bon livre, a good book. And grand and petit also go before the noun. Ma petite sœur, my little sister. Mon grand lit, my big bed. Now, where's my cute black dog? Où est mon chien mignon et noir? So there you have it, a little bit of an explanation. So, um, as you can see here, you have some words like bleu, grand, petit, nouveau, and vieux. And it would be important for you to copy these words down into your exercise books or on a piece of paper and just be aware of them for next year. So you can stop the video to write those down. So um, we've got words here, for example, j'ai un chat noir, I have a black cat, or you could say uh, je porte un pantalon noir, I wear a black trouser, in, in French they say trouser and not trousers, unless you're talking about um, more than one student's trousers, and they're all wearing them. Um, you have got words that um, here, for example, most of the bags adjectives go before the noun. So you, if you look at these words here, all of these go before the noun, okay? So it stands for beauty, age, goodness, and size. So if you want to use any of these words, then you put them before the noun. And the reason they are split up, beau, belle, is because beau is masculine, so it can only be used for masculine nouns and belle is used for feminine nouns. For example, belle sœur, um, beau frère. You've got vieux and vieille, and again, they're split up between masculine and feminine. With e, grande, it's feminine. Without the e, it's masculine. Petit, um, without the e, is masculine, and with the e, it's feminine. So just to be aware. Now, this is on bite size and I can send you the link so you can look at it properly. Um, here as well, we can see that um, this is quite important. So if you remember from doing the topic on clothes, if you wanted to talk about um, tights, collants, je porte des collants uh, noir, then you had to add an S on collant and you had to add an S on noir. And then, for example, plural like chaussure, chaussure, un chaussure is feminine, but because you wear more than one shoe, then you need to add es 
to the color. So you have chaussure with ES, and you have uh, noir with ES, and obviously you would use the LES, which is the, the um, black shoes. Um, so then here you've got, you can uh, screenshot this. It's quite useful to keep as it's split between masculine, masculine plural, feminine and feminine plural. So for example, un jeune homme is uh, masculine. And then you have some young men, des jeunes hommes. You have une jeune femme, and you have des jeunes femmes. And these are exceptions in many ways that you need to be aware of. But to be fair, you probably won't really use these very often. These are probably ones that you would use more in um, year 10 and year 11 because they don't actually follow the normal pattern. Um, and then we've seen these words before, the, the masculine and the feminine. And again, uh, just be aware of bell being for feminine and both being for masculine. But if it, if this word is followed by a, na a noun, which is H or any one of the vowels, then you use B-E-L from, from uh, masculine. So let's have a look at fill in the gaps then. Il est heureux. So here, for example, it is he is happy. And therefore, you would have to use happy in masculine. Je suis grande. So here you've heard the word grande, which means I am big. And you, you hear it with the E, because otherwise it's je suis grand. You listen again. Je suis grande. And they said je suis grande, so you know it's feminine. Okay, so then you've got some phrases here. As I said before, the handsome man is le bel homme, because H is a vowel in French, strangely enough. Um, but then you have le beau chien, which is the beautiful dog, la belle maison, and so forth down. So let's have a quiz. Let's play a quiz and see if you can work it out before I do. So adjectives tell us more information about. So quickly think of your answer before I give it. Tells us more about the nouns because it describes nouns. In French, adjectives usually go something the noun. So usually go. So the majority of you think if you think of clothes and pets, where did most of the adjectives go? Where did the colours go when you were talking about clothes? And most of them go afterwards. To make an adjective agree with a feminine noun, you usually add, so think about this. So if you had, for example, chemise or jupe or robe, what do you have to add to the colour to make it agree? So for feminine. Good, well done, E. To make an adjective agree with a plural noun, you usually add, so think about in English, what do you need to add in English to make a word plural? For example, book. What do you need to add to make it plural? Cat. What do you need to add to say two cat? Do you say two cat or it's similar in French? So yes, well done. Yes. To make an adjective such as sportif agree with a feminine noun, this is something you probably don't know, but be aware of it. It's a VE. So uh, sportif changes to sportive. And there you got it. So just a little bit of an idea about um, feminine and masculine and plural nouns, just give you an idea and, and obviously to take some notes and I'll give you a link to Bite Size so you can probably go through it. Um, thank you for listening and have a good day. Bye.